The other challenge that we're seeing a lot in our community, I'm sure you're seeing it in yours, is that as collagen goes down, injuries become more prolific. Yeah. And we're now living in a time where we're getting a lot of new information coming out about some of the musculoskeletal injuries, frozen shoulder being the biggest. So is there anything a woman can do if she's listening to this and she's like, okay, I'm going to go to the gym, I'm going to start heavy, lifting heavy weights, and I'm going to start sprinting up a hill. How does she make sure she doesn't injure herself? Yeah, soft tissue injuries, big, huge thing. Plantar fasciitis and frozen shoulder are the two biggest issues, right? Because they're all soft yeah. tissue tendon stuff. And we know how estrogen affects that. So one of my good friends is Kelly Starrett, and he started Mobility Wad stuff and now has the Ready State. And he's looked a lot into tissue health. So I've turned to him and his wife, Juliet, to understand a little bit more about tissue health. So we're looking at a little bit of blood flow restriction through what they call voodoo flossing. So it's a, it's a kind of like a TheraBand, but you have the ability to wrap around the joints of, of interest and do range of motion stuff with that wrapped and then remove it and do mm. range of motion again. And it's, it's a, a blood flow response that then increases the actual blood flow to the joint so you have better range of motion so that it reduces the friction and that cartilage issue as well as enhances the the I guess the responses within the tendon because now you have more blood mm. flow there. So I have women really like if you have arthritic or onset of arthritis in your knees, then we do voodoo flossing before squats, or maybe we actually keep the band on as proprioception for squats. If we're going to do sprints, we have to do a really, really good sound warm up through mobility. So mobility becomes a key functionality. So this is your foam roll. Okay is you're looking at right mm. it's not your static stretching it's actually getting into the full joint and joint capsule so there are different okay. techniques to really like pull the joint capsule get more blood flow around it to enhance mm. the tissue health in and around the joints um, and this is okay. how we look at avoiding soft tissue injuries and then if you do have right. a tissue injury like plantar fascia then there are specific things you can do with voodoo floss and with different types of massage to really enhance the blood flow to those tissues. Right. Is that like BFR bands or katsu bands? I've seen both of those or is no, voodoo floss like, something different? Yeah, it looks really okay, similar. Interesting. I, like, I wish I was in the other room because I have one in the other room and pull it out and show you. Yeah. But yeah. No, it's go look it up. Yeah. yeah. You know, and I, I love that idea because I do think if we're going to start to have a whole culture going through menopause and strength training, we don't want to end up with a whole culture of injured women. Mm -hmm. And if it gets too many injuries, then all of a sudden now women are like, forget it, I'm going back to the couch. Yeah. So we, we, you know, that's really, it's interesting to, to know that there are some other ways we can look at it. And what I also heard in what you said was foam rolling, stretching, warming up, becomes more important in these menopausal years than perhaps it did in our 20s and 30s. Yeah, it used to be get up off the couch, run out the front door and go. But now it's like, oh, 15 minutes yep. of mobility. And then I go do my sprints and then I yes. come back and do some more mobility. 